Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Thrifting Thursday. This is Nancy and we have a table full of goodies and also a really cute kitty kitty playing around. This is Miss Lucy and she wanted to be near me so I was hoping that she would try out something that I bought for her but we'll see if she likes it or not. So let's get started with this week's treasures. And this one, I'm gonna start out with this handbag. So I saw this handbag and I could look and see that it had this really nice label on it. I could tell that it had the, I call it the feet on it. I'm not sure what it is. It's got a little boo-boo right there. And then when you open it up, it had, I could tell that it was real leather inside. It smelled clean. I always smell the stuff. And then I liked how it had this little attachment right here. So I thought this would be great uh, when we go to the water park to put our stuff in this bag. And like I said, uh, didn't know what, had, didn't recognize the name but I have learned to recognize quality. And the, the one thing that I saw was that it had this really nice label, it was real leather, and it had the feet. So that was, there was, and there was no cracks in the handle. I always look, there was one blemish on the bottom. So for $4.99, I decided to take a chance on it, and I will put on the screen what I just looked up what this brand is going for. So I was just completely shocked. All right, moving on to the next thing. Cameron loves suspenders and bow ties. This was a brand new set. Looked like it had been $7. I don't know who the maker is, but brand new still in the box. I got that for $2.99 and we'll put that back. That would be cute for Christmas. So we'll just put that back for next year. So I really try to stay out of the, uh, the glassware because I have so much. But every now and then, I will find something that I'm like, ooh, I just really like that. And it could be the way that it feels in my hand. But I thought this would be so nice, like if you were gonna whip up eggs, you could just break your eggs, put them in there, whisk them up, and then you can pour them out. And this was, $1.99 but it just it just feels it just felt good so I decided to get that now moving on I'm telling you this coffee drinking on the front porch at the farm it is a thing and I got so tickled because I found this one I found this cup it says be happy and then I found this cup ah, maybe not so happy so I thought that would be cute and these were 99 cents a piece so I thought I would take those and then I get back home and I have a message uh, from my little sweet neighbor and she's like are we still gonna be drinking coffee on the porch I'm like yes I've been I've been buying us fun cups um, so then the next thing they had just a huge selection of these Cozell sheet sets now notice there's two full sets in here and the only thing I could not find was the uh, thread count. I looked this over, could not find the thread count. I paid $12.99 for two complete sets. And I did look these up and they seem like they sell them uh, at Walmart and Amazon pretty regularly. But I did, I did open it and fill it and it is very soft. So that's, you know, I trust my touch. I trust... I can tell more about how the quality of something by how it feels than just about anything. So, picked up uh, two brand new sets for $12.99. Now, this next lamp, believe it or not, this was there at one of the Goodwills last week. And I passed it up and I thought about it the entire week. I was like, I wish I would have bought that for the guest bedroom. So I went back and sure enough, it was $12.99. It, 
it's two lights. I mean, it is, it is perfect. It is just, it is my colors. It is just absolutely perfect. And I'm so happy. I have, I have no way of looking this up to see <clears throat> what it would cost to retail, but I can tell you this is a very good quality uh, lamp. So I picked that up for the guest bedroom. So you know, I always, always, always look at Christmas things. I just, um, there are certain things I always look for when I go into thrift stores, and one of them is Christmas items. So I found this Lionel train. I haven't taken it out of the box, so it is in there upside down. But I could just tell it had maybe been used one season. I knew it was fairly new. It's the North Pole Central Lines. And I got this to put around Cameron's Christmas tree in his room. I thought that would just be perfect uh, for his room. And I'll put the price up of what it's going for right now on uh, Amazon. And I paid $14.95 for it. So really happy about that. All right. The next thing, you guys probably won't be excited about this, but I homeschool. And Alpha Omega is a very good brand or company for homeschooling. And I found this entire science pack for $7.99. So next year, this will be Cameron's. I'll use this for science. So I was, it had never been used. Nothing's been marked in it. Everything is complete. So I was really happy about that. Alrighty, so moving on, this is a basket. Looks like I paid $3.59. Look how sturdy this is. This is going out into the garden for me to collect produce and flowers, eggs. That is just such a well-made basket. And again, I, I pick everything up. I pick it up, I turn it over, I look at it. Um, and I just make sure that that it's good quality. And what is so funny, I made a new friend, and her name is Jennifer Brady, and I'll bet you she's watching these videos. So, hey, Jennifer, and Jennifer uh, sells on eBay, and we were looking at some, um, some, uh, some bowls and cups and saucers and things like that. And she just found some beautiful things yesterday. So made a new friend and just excited about that. So let's move on to these little pet carrier bags. Um, I saw these and of course we have Miss Lucy Lou here. So going to the farm, I knew that we would need something to take her in so she could ride comfortably. And then at the end of the month, I am supposed to go pick up two bunnies. Two sweet little bunnies. I'll put the picture up uh, so you can see. There is uh, a lady here in Franklin and she's holding them for me. So they'll be, they'll be ready to go at the end of the month. So when we go to the farm, I'll have something comfortable to transport the bunnies and the kitten in. And again, I saw these. I picked them up, looked them over. I noticed the tag. You can tell so much about a product if the company takes the time to put a really nice tag. You know this is a well-made product and this is Sherpa Pet Training Company and this is a large carrier. Another thing that I noticed is it has its name on the zippers. So there's all of these little telltale signs that you can uh, you can look at when you find something that you can gauge the quality of something by. So I picked both of these up. They were $14.99 $14 a piece. And I'll put the price up that I found online. I think they were running maybe $50 at Petco. But I was just absolutely thrilled to have those and I wanted to tell you I always want to share uh, my tricks and tips and things like that there is a lady on YouTube her channel is lavender clothesline and I will put a link to her channel in the first comment on this video 
but she, her name is Karen. She's a lovely, lovely lady. And she has been selling uh, on eBay. She shops at Goodwills, thrift stores, yard sales. Very high, she knows, she knows high quality items. And she has, has made over $100,000 a year. She's been doing this for several, several years. You wanna try that? You wanna try that, Lucy? See what you think, see if you like it. But uh, she, I watch her just to see what things are going for. And she is full of knowledge. And she now has a YouTube channel. So she's making $100,000 a year selling on eBay plus money on her YouTube channel. And she is just such a knowledgeable lady. She's beautiful and she, you know, some people are like, oh, you shouldn't be telling your secrets. Folks, there is plenty out there. There is plenty for everybody. And, you know, in America, we live in the land of plenty. There is just no reason that you can't have nice things. You just have to be willing to get out and, and do a little searching. But I will put her, um, the link to her YouTube channel in the first comment of this video. So you all check her out. If you have some time sitting around at night, maybe before you go to bed, just watch her videos. It's amazing the things that she finds. And she will always tell you, you know, she is a reseller, I am not, but she, she will tell you what she gets for things. <coughs> Excuse me. So I did find this little travel set and I didn't even bother looking this up, but my hair can be wild and wooly and have a mind of its own. So I found this little travel set of uh, curlers for $3.99 and they look, it's, a, it's Remington, so I did recognize the brand. It looks virtually unused, so I, I plugged them in, they got hot, so I'm satisfied with those. And then the last two things that we picked up um, were these DVDs. Well, Cameron picked these out, actually. And I did want to give you some tips if you're shopping at Goodwill. Different stores will have things priced differently and you just have to be careful and watch. So at this particular store, all of the DVDs are 99 cents. Now at another Goodwill in the same town, I think they're $2.99. So you just need to, uh, when you go in, you just need to pay attention and see what the prices of things are. So when you are looking for a DVD, you want to open it up, you want to take it out. First of all, you want to make sure the DVD is in here, and then you want to take it out and check to see that it's not that scratched. And that's something that, that I always do. I always check. And then another tip that I wanted to give you, if you are if you're you know in a thrift store and you're you're thinking about something you see it and you're like i might be interested in that but you're not sure go ahead and put it in your basket that way you've got it and you know first of all somebody may pick it up and it may not be there if you go back five minutes later and second of all you know take it if it's crowded, take it to where you can can look it over good. Just go to a quiet corner of the store. If you have your smartphone, you can look up and see what you actually have. And um, you know, if it's if you and maybe you find something better. Like I try to limit myself on what I spend um, every week. So you know, I may find something that I would rather have, and then put something back on the aisle. Uh, but just always try to make sure that you do, you know, help keep the store as neat as you can. But that was this week's Thrifting Thursday, and I hope you have enjoyed it. I know I always have a wonderful time on treasure hunts because you absolutely never know what you're going to walk in and find. And that it's the thrill of the hunt. It's just the thrill of the hunt. I was actually looking for three items that I needed. And of course, didn't, didn't see that at all. But that's okay because I know eventually 
I'll come across uh, the items that I'm looking for. Sometimes I shop for family members, but, um, but it'll all work out. So I hope you have enjoyed this thrifting Thursday. I hope you are thrifting and not paying full retail. I have crunched the numbers and crunched the numbers and if I spend $35 at the Goodwill, I usually have $350 in merchandise uh, retail. So I just encourage you to get out there if you have the time, get out there and do a little hunting and and you meet nice people and uh, make friends. So it's just a win-win situation from every for everyone and you're saving all these things from the landfill. So you all have a great week and we will see you soon.